circulation énergétique. J'ai utilisé le petit râteau donc, au niveau du front, donc on me dit au niveau de la tension. Est-ce que ça vous convient, si ça ne fait pas trop mal Non, c'est parfait. Au contraire. Donc, voilà. donc là, on va détendre un petit peu au niveau du front toutes les tensions que vous pouvez avoir accumulées dans la journée et dans les semaines précédentes. Donc là, je passe au niveau de votre cuir chevelu. Donc j'active la microcirculation cérébrale. Je vais rayer le visage, c'est-à-dire que je vais passer donc sur les différentes lignes pour la circulation énergétique. Il y a des gouttes d'eau qui tombent sur mon visage. Il y a de la fatigue aussi chez vous Oui. Beaucoup Très, oui. D'accord. Donc là, je reste un petit peu, je prends un autre point, toujours. Aussi, oui. Pareil. Hein. Côté. Mmh, oui, aussi, je oui. vois. Donc là, on travaille justement pour relancer au niveau de la souplesse et puis la circulation du chi, hein, parce que ça se teigne souvent aux extrémités. Donc là, ça va plus assoupir et euh, euh, on va dire faire euh, circuler l'énergie dans les mains pour que vous puissiez travailler d'une meilleure manière. Vous ressentez euh, les petites oui, choses hein ça, Dans le bras et tout, c'est bien. Ça circule. Ouais. C'est très rapide. Ben, de toutes les manières, c'est un côté yang, hein, donc là une corne qui fait que justement vous avez vu les petits picots, donc qui font que ça, ça fait euh, stimuler un petit peu euh, le, le... bạn cũng biết rồi con trai út con em thứ ba thế thì vẫn dùng tất cả những nguyên lực về âm dương đấy hồi nãy giờ lương nói đó thì các bạn nào mà đã học chuyện chẩn của thầy châu rồi đó thì biết những những cái gọi là nguyên lực về âm dương and I'm going to take you forwards yeah. and now I'm going to take the whole of your body backwards the whole of you from your hips and now I'm going to take all of you forwards And I'm going to take all of you back. And now you're staying very still in your neck and back. And all I want now from you, and this isn't easy, but I want you to just stand up with your heels. Yes, that's it. Stand up now. That's it. And bend the knees. Mm-hmm all the way to the stool and then stand up again, heels, and bend the knees. The reason I say heels rather than stand up by itself mm -hmm. is because most people stand up by pushing with the toes and they often forget about the heels. So I want you to remember you've got all of your foot, all of your feet on the floor mm -hmm. and all of it's going to be used. Hips back and bend the knees again and then stand up with your heels again. That's it and then bend the knees and then heels again. Wouldn't do you any good. So let me move you forwards and stop. Let me move you, move you backwards. So what's your sensation around your face, neck and jaw right now as you're sitting and standing and moving? I don't feel much to be and fair. Heels. I, so it, I don't feel any tension or pain. Right. So you can feel it's a bit softer around this area Definitely, already. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then heels into the ground. That's it. Good. You can stand up now. And I'll take you back. And now the same thing here. I'm going to take an arm. Mm -hmm. I've got the weight of your arm. Mm. 
what you spend most of the day doing? Do you sit at um, a computer screen all day? No, it really depends. Um, I'm spending quite often mm -hmm. computer as well. Yeah. And running around. <laughs> You mean stressfully running around, or just? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. As in rushing around? Yeah, rushing around, yeah. So you can see, even though my hands are here, and I'm moving you over here, your neck isn't getting involved, is it? Um, thoracic cage configuration, you want to make sure that when she breathes, it's um, symmetric. Not one side is coming out far. Um, spine is processed. You can check this while you know the patient's sitting here. Um, have them lean forward just a little bit. Looks good. Can you actually bring your leg, both legs, out for me? Very good. And then the other one. Good. And that, again, assesses the range of motion. Der NMP Pediküre Strumpf wird sorgfältig angezogen und die Nägel kurz einmassiert. Das wird der Reihe nach an allen Nägeln durchgeführt. Das Keratin in dem NMP Pediküre Strumpf verhindert Nagelbrüche und Risse und fördert somit das gesündere Wachsen der Nägel. Der Strumpf wird an der Fußspitze geöffnet und hochgeschoben. Die überschüssige Then it has a greater likelihood ratio of predicting greater sensitivity and specificity of predicting peripheral vascular disease than the ankle arm index. So that's what we do, and it's just important, no matter what abnormal finding you find on physical exam, you're thinking about protein, fats, carbohydrates, the many different minerals, vitamins, and phytonutrients that all play a role in peripheral vascular health. Now let me just compare our hands. So yeah, we can see the same kind of ridging here. same flexibility in some of the nails in the absence of the limula. Your hands are a little on the cold side. Do they tend to run cold? Mm -hmm. If I check your capillary refill by just pressing down on the nail bed until it lands and then releasing, it's a little bit slow. So we're going to recommend some things to warm you up. <laughs> the nail strength also can give us insight to our protein status. We look for nice strong nails that aren't readily bendable. You can see that a couple of your nails are perhaps a little bit more flexible than I would like to see. So this really suggests to me that we want to do some more protein. Tell me what you had for breakfast today. Um, I had crackers and cheese. Crackers and cheese. So you had a little bit of protein, probably more fat. But So we're, we'll look at it closely and see what you're taking in. Now I'm looking at the texture of the nails. You can see on the thumb, if you run your finger over it, you can feel these vertical ridges. You can see them and you can actually feel them a little bit. Very mild. Vertical ridging is present in most of us, particularly as we get older. But measure her hands. Her hands appear. If I measure her hands from here to here, her hands are long and her fingers are shorter, but they look longer because they thin out at the top and she has her nails on. And she's used an oval on her French tip so that that oval lets your eye continue to go up rather than having blunt across here that stop your eye travel. Our eyes always go where we lead them to go and Shearson's fingers, because they narrow down here and because of the way her nail tips are, they allow our eyes to travel up and that's why she probably
see. Yes. And what I'm massaging here is over here. Okay, Joe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello, I'm just following his. Mm -hmm. There's no force there. Yeah, bend that kid. Yeah. That feels comfortable, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Make sure to keep your structure. to assess your scalp so I'm going to make sure there's no lumps, bumps and then I'm also going to look for any lesions or infestations so all that looks good. Um, okay. Any pain there? No. Not right there. Okay. So here's some going to palpate. Do you have any pain? No. Okay. Turn your head. I'm going to assess for any excessive earwax. I'm going to go ahead and look into your ears. Now, the problems on the left, um, I'm going to palpate the lateral, pectoral, central, and subscapula. So I'm not able to palpate any of those, so that's all. Now, follow the pen light with your eyes, not with your head. Perfect. So I'm going to check your ears if you face this way for me. Okay, face that way for me. Good. Okay. Okay, you can look up front now. And does this feel the same? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Can you lift your eyebrows for me? Smile. Puff your cheeks. Now open your mouth. I'm going to check inside. So make sure you can say ah. Uh. Stick out your tongue. Perfect. Clench your jaw. Any pain? No. No? Checking your neck. Neck looks fine. Now I'm going to check your side, your, your arms. Okay, does this feel the same? Yes. Does this feel the same? Mm -hmm. I'm going to check your radial pulse. Looks like it's regular and they're the same. Can you squeeze both fingers for me? Can you push and pull? Perfect. Thank you. I'm going to check skin turner. So I'm just going to give you a little pinch. Normal skin turner snaps back rapidly. And I'm going to check your capillary refill. Less than three seconds. I'm going to take this off. And less than three seconds on both feet. Active in all four quadrants. Any tenderness? I'm gonna go a little deeper. No tenderness or masses noted. All right, if you'll stand up for me, <coughs> I'm gonna assess your spine. <coughs> Turn this way and bend over, touch your toes. No scoliosis, lordosis, no... ...part divide kar diya spine ko. Jo bahari surface hai, yani 8, 9, 10, 11. Isme humne Chinese spine ko yaha par imagine kiya jata hai Chinese spine ko. Yani Chinese spine ko pura yaha imagine kar liya hai. Unhone jo first part hai, jisko bolte hai EH8. C1 से लेके C4 को imagine किया है जो second part है AS2 Hello, this is an oral mechanism exam for CPR speech language pathology The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my antibacterial wipes and wipe down our surface After I do that, I'm going to have our patient sign her consent form so that we have permission to do whatever needs to be done today 
While she does that, I'm going to wash my hands really nicely so that I don't give her any of my germs that are on my hands. Thank you. Okay, to start today, I'm just going to have you look straight at me. Awesome, thank you. Now, can you purse your lips for me like you're giving a kiss? Good. Now, smile pretty. Now, say ah, ah, ooh, ooh e. e. Awesome, thank you. Deep inside your mouth. All right, say ah. Ah, uh, perfect. Now when I do this, I can see down in there and I can see your tonsils. And they look great and I can see your uvula. And now I, I'm looking at your hard palate and your soft palate and everything's looking good in there. Wearing facial hair. Her hair is appropriate for her gender. Oh. <laughs> yep. So, uh, check her trigger. No tenting, no in. I'll check your cap refill. That looks like it's going to be less than three seconds. Her nails look strong. They don't look weak. They feel weak. Can you put your nails together and look for a diamond? No clubbing. Good sign. So I'm going to have you just open your mouth. All right. And then I'm going to have you close your eyes and tell me where I touch you. Uh, right cheek, left cheek, chin, forehead. All right, crayon group eyes and ocular, occipital, mm. and the tonsillar one, submandible, and then the, what's this one again, submental. Now we'll do the anterior and the posterior. Um, cervical, supraclavicular, and then the intra infra clavicular. All right, do you look at your landmarks? So I see the, um, oh gosh, the tragus, anti tragus helix, and then the anti helix. So the scene is considered safe. I'm wearing the crepe PP, which is gloves and glasses. So I'm just going to introduce myself to the patient. Hi, my name's Aisha. I'm from New South Wales Ambulance. What's your name? Mahala. Mahala, nice to meet you, Mahala. You too. Uh, so I'm just going to explain the procedure to the patient. So today I'm going to be performing an abdominal assessment on you. Uh, it's just going to involve me um, listening and touching. Is that alright? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and you're in a position of comfort? Yeah. Yeah, and the patient is laying supine, which is optimal. So now I'm just going to expose the patient's abdomen. <laughs> Maintaining uh, patient modesty. So then I'm just going to be visually inspecting the abdomen, looking for any scars, feeding tubes, anything like that. What else? Pulsatile masses, stomas. Uh, I'm not finding anything like that. And so are you in any particular pain? Is there a spot at all? Not any certain spot. No? Okay. If, if there was, I would just get them to use one finger and point to it to localise it. So now I'm just going to oscillate the area. So I'm just going to use my stethoscope to listen. Is that alright? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll just be listening in the four quadrants. Alrighty, might be a bit cold. That's okay. Perfect. Okay, now I'm just going to percuss the abdomen in the four same quadrants. Is that alright with yeah, you? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Perfect. I'm not hearing any fluids or anything there. Uh, so now I'm just going to palpate the abdomen. So just let me know if you're feeling any tenderness or anything. Yep. Any tenderness? No. No pain or anything? No. No? Okay. And there's no guarding that I can see. Uh, and now I'm just going to assess for referred pain. So are you feeling any pain in your shoulder? No. No? What about your chest? No. No? And what about your groin? No. No? Not anywhere else? No. No? Perfect. Alright. So now I'm just going to explain the findings to the patient. So um, I have listened, percussed, palpated. Uh, I'm not finding any areas for concern. So you're all good. Thank you. Let's see the hair. Looking for even distribution. Yeah. And also if you like just looking out for the thickness of the hair. Feeling the texture. Yeah, that's pretty good.
you have healthy hair. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm also just going to be looking out for any um, lesions, so any um, bugs or like lice or ticks, just to make sure your hair is healthy and it seems to be, yeah, it's, everything's fine. You got some good hair. Um, so I'm also going to note, uh, so you do have dye in your hair, this is yeah. not your natural colour, yeah. and that's perfectly fine, but I just have to make a note that you do have chemicals in your hair. Okay. So assessment, moving on to your nails, um, so your nails, yeah, your nails are a nice length, I can see that, um, they seem to be thick enough, so um, just asking, do your nails go to a certain length and just break off? Uh, no. No, so they, they, they're not thin or anything. Yeah, they seem fine. And um, just asking, um, do you get your like, any acrylic nails? No, done? I don't. No. Okay, just saying because that is a source of like fungal infection and it's not good for our nails. So that's pretty good. Everything seems to be fine. So it's just the um, dryness, which is our concern. And that probably could be fixed if we just... Or masses. And there was no report of pain. Can you sit up here for me? I'm going to listen to your breath sound. First, I'll be checking her anterior bronchovascular sounds. Each time I place this on you, just take a deep breath in and out. Okay. okay. Cap refill on the left hand is less than three seconds. Cap refill on the right hand is less than three seconds. Temperature is also warm. Hands both palms. All right, now I'm going to feel for your brachial pulses. They're even and bilateral and rated at a 2 plus. And now I'm going to feel for your radial pulses. Oh, her toes are a bit cold. Is that normal? Yes. Okay. And I'll check for your papillary refill. Notes present, and now I'm going to feel your carotid. Plus, all right, can you squeeze my fingers as hard as you can? All right, and then can you pull my hand? All right, and then push. All right, as your strength is good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start from back here. I'm going to check your preauricular nodes. Right in front of your ear. I'm going to move to your postauricular nodes right behind your ear. And I'm going to sneak right behind your head to your occipital nodes. And I'm going to give you a little massage here in your scalp. Good. Oh, and I'm going to go down through your neck area. I'm just going to check your, your buccal muscle, your buccinator here. I'm going to check your jaw. I'm going to check your submandibular nodes here. Make sure there's not any obvious areas or sores. Okay. 
I'm going to press on your tongue just a bit. Can you say ah? Ah. Good. I'm going to look at your uvula and your palatal glossal arch and your, your lingual. Can I have you stick your tongue out at me? Perfect. And take a look. I'm going to check the lateral border of your tongue. Very good. I'm going to check the right side as well. I'm going to palpate. Very good. And... Les articulations. Le toucher est un moyen de pénétration de la psyché. Il amène le patient à avoir une meilleure conscience de lui-même. Les cervicales jusqu'à la surture occipitale. Je vais commencer maintenant à traiter chaque orteil. Je fais le tour de la suture occipitale au niveau du gros orteil. Et puis, chaque suture de chaque orteil, toujours en pression rotation. Suture occipitale, du premier au cinquième orteil. Et la pratique de la réflexologie plantaire requiert donc une connaissance parfaite de l'anatomie et de la physiologie du corps humain. De haut vers le bas. Dans la zone mentale, je vais travailler le plexus pinéal ou hypophysaire, puis le plexus hypophysaire ou pituitaire. Puis, dans la zone émotionnelle, le plexus thyroïdien, Le plexus cardiaque. Hi, Nicole. I'm Dr. Kara Fitzgerald, and I'm going to be looking at your nails, your fingernails, and your toenails. Okay. Nails actually can tell us quite a bit about our state of health. So let's take a look at yours and see what we see. First, I'm going to look at the shape, and you can see yours are a lovely curvilinear shape. Nice shape to the disc. The, the nail bite here. Look at the color. They're pink. I see we have a nice cuticle. And at the base of the nail, we see. So, the first things we start off with is just trying to re relax the client. And we do that with a just nice little head rub. Then I will take the rake and this rake I will stroke through Tina's hair and scalp particularly as it rebalances and re-energize and relax the client. I will do that for about three to four minutes. Thereafter, I will press some points on Tina's face that really, really make her relax and de-stress. Now I have taken a look at Tina's face and there's not so much going on. There's a little bit of blemishes here, which is the lung system in that. Otherwise, not too, too much is showing up. So I will just palpitate her face and see if I find any imbalances.
I'm feeling a little bit here under the eyebrow or above the eyebrow. Tina, do you have sore shoulders and neck? It's not, yeah, I do sometimes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this is what I'm picking up. Different tools do different things and a lot of people have a double chin and just by working under here it will help tighten the skin. It's improving lymph and blood circulation and detoxifying at the same time. work with her jaw again as a tightening effect. Mm 